So, That's who's good. up for a little anatomy lesson? Ready? All right. Because you know what? No matter what you call it, you got to get to know it, right? That's right. I'm kicking it off. And that's right? what we're talking about. So let's cover the basics, and I want you all to follow along. So look wow. underneath your chair. You have, and I actually have to get familiar mm. with this uh, vegetable or fruit, um, a chayote squash. squash. Does it look familiar? It okay. does. This is what we're going to use to get our little anatomy lesson. And this is just so we can do this on t television, all right? So, right, so I'm kicking it off, right? Exactly. We're going to go so from, the top, from yes. the top down. Mm -hmm. And apparently, I guess this would be the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the, the top of yes. the female external genital anatomy really starts with the clitoris. And that is the main sexual organ, ladies. That's the equivalent of what gets erect in a man. It, <laughs> woo <-hoo>, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? So oftentimes neglected by people who just want to get down to the business. But really, mm -hmm. there are a lot of women who can only have clitoral orgasms. They don't have orgasms from internal penetration. So don't neglect it. It's very important. Treat it well. Move it Let's down. See. So next comes the labia, or, or lips around the vagina, around the vag vaginal opening here. The external ones are called the labia majora. And those are the ones that are the, that's the hair-bearing area that has typical skin, just like everywhere else. Although no one has hair anymore. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's right. Take that's it off. right. But that's in a, theory, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> and then the labia minora, which are the inner, the inner lips around the, the vaginal opening. And these mm -hmm. areas can can come in different sizes, shapes, and can change color. And they should not be green. <laughs> if that is a problem. I that too. This is kind of definitely yeah. not the anatomically correct color. All right. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. And then inside we have the cervix, right? which is about an inch long, and it feels like the tip of your nose, and it's what the you know, sperm passes through, but also uh, menstrual fluid passes through, and it's very important to get your pap smear with that. I'm sure that you guys have experienced this in your practice. Pap smears, ladies, should not hurt if they're done properly. Mm -hmm. So if you're finding it the most torture that you have to go through every year, please maybe suggest to your gynecologist that they should maybe slow down and take their time because done correctly, it should not be uncomfortable. And they are important because that's the way we can screen for cervical cancer. Right, and we're gonna come up to that right. just to sort of finish off our anatomy lesson is the vagina. It's about seven centimeters long and it's a muscle. Things like babies go through over there, come out of there and other things can go in there. But, and <laughs> menstrual fluid and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, it can also be the conduit for infections as well. So it's very important, again, to make sure you use appropriate protection.